Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, for those who have used Mac OS X or Windows 10, you know how useful it is to have a quick launcher you can use to search for files, folders, programs or do quick calculations. You might be used to Spotlight on Mac OS X or Cortana Search on Windows 10. Well, on Linux, there are a few choices available such as Synapse, Launchy or Gnome Do. But the one that integrates best with elementary OS is Albert. So let's see how to install that. Installing Albert. This is an easy thing to do if you've ever followed one of my videos. We just need to add a PPA. If you've never added one, just open a terminal and type sudo apt install software-properties-common. Hit enter, enter your password and you're good to go. Now we need to add the PPA, which is the repository where Albert is located. Just type sudo add-apt-repository and then the name of the PPA as it's showing on your screen now. Don't worry, all the commands will be in the video description. Press enter, then enter again to confirm. Then type sudo apt-update to refresh the available packages. Finally, we can install Albert with sudo apt-install-albert. And there we go! Using Albert. You can launch Albert just by opening it like any other app. At the first start, it will prompt you to set up a keyboard command. I decided on Ctrl plus space, but you can set that to anything you like, even Super plus space, to replace the default command for opening Elementary's app menu. You'll also be able to change the theme. There are a lot to choose from, and I mean a lot. From Arc themes, to Numix themes, to Mac-like themes, you get to choose what it looks like. I picked the Elementary theme, of course, and it looks fantastic. By default, Albert does not have any plugins activated, which means it won't return any results. Head to the Extensions tab to choose what to index and search. You can activate file searchers, Firefox or Chrome bookmarks, calculations, web searchers, terminal commands and even media player controls, such as typing pause, play, next and Albert to do the aforementioned command in your media player. Each extension can then be configured once it's activated. For the files extension, for example, you can choose which directories to index if you allow fuzzy search, which means you don't have to be as precise when typing, but you might get less pertinent results, or even choose to index hidden files. For the web search extension, you can choose which search engines you'd like to use and the prefix you'll need to type to activate them. If I wanted to search YouTube, for example, I type YT, the Linux experiment, and hit enter, and my search is right here in my default browser. There are a ton of things to customize as well, such as the number of results or the behavior when Albert is hidden. This is a fantastic launcher with functionality I'd love to see integrated into the applications menu of Elementary OS by default. I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye!